In other news tonight, the heavily subsidized Bahamas Air has been a drain on the public purse for years, costing more to operate than it earns. Despite that reputation, an airline executive says he's encouraged by the direction the airline has been headed in and shared plans for the near future. Here's Cleopatra Murphy. Bahamas Air has operated at a deficit for years, but Managing Director Tracy Cooper says the situation is getting better. Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Dionisio Diagler, lamented last year that the national flag carrier suffers a loss of $16 million to $20 million annually. Cooper, who spoke with ZNS News recently, however, says the airline is making strides and is without a doubt improving. We've uh, uh, had a 10% improvement in revenue and in our budget coming up for 2018, sorry, 2018-19, uh, we're putting in another 9% improvement. So overall, over a two-year period, we would have improved the airline by roughly about 19% revenue. The airline executive says despite market competition, Bahamas Air has been doing well, and that has been spurred partly by the opening of Bahamar. Those uh, you know, 1,400 rooms by hired has been a great uh, benefit to Bahamas Air. We are seeing that we are growing, as I said just now, that we had a 10% growth over last year, and that's directly attributed to the amount of uh, additional hotel rooms. Cooper says with the pending 2019 opening of the $200 million The Point development on Bay Street, Bahamas Air that has been operating at near capacity on its Florida routes has now sought government's permission to purchase another airplane to capitalize on anticipated additional tourists. We're getting another 737. It's just going to be slightly uh, larger. We operate the uh, 500 series right now, which is 120 seats. We also, uh, the aircraft we're seeking to get, it's going to be 140 seats, and this is uh, where we believe that really the market is expanding, so we got to use a bigger aircraft. Cooper says the Florida market is the biggest for Bahamas Air, and with the acquisition of a new airplane, it intends to shore that up while considering the addition of new routes. Bahamas Air launched its Houston, Texas route in November, which he says is still under evaluation for longevity. We had a very good Christmas on it, uh, full flights as a matter of fact. Um, in January and February, uh, the loads fell off a bit. So we're looking at the trendings to see if it is a seasonal traffic. But for right now, um, in its infantry, it's doing pretty well. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News.